Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today for lunch we're going to a restaurant called Song, which specializes in fine Southern Thai food. And so the reason that I'm so excited to eat here uh, is because Southern Thai food is my favorite regional genre of Thai food. The mix of spices and herbs used in the cooking, it just always excites the taste buds. And the owners and chefs of Song, they're very good friends of mine, and I know for sure that they have gone to some of the farthest regions of Southern Thailand to source very, very unique, very rare to find ingredients. We are on our way to try some amazing Southern Thai food. All right, we just arrived. It's really close to Prom Pong, which is a big shopping district, but you just get back into the neighborhood, so it's really quiet back here. It's in a it's like a house compound, but you see sky-rise buildings around. And everybody should be here soon for lunch. Thank you. It's almost like a museum in here. Uh, there are ingredients as well as some artifacts from Southern Thailand. Oh man, that's the coconut grater. A really, really old one. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations on opening Thank this you. place. All the wood is, is making flies from the from the old house wall. Met up with Chef Yot. He is the head chef here. Um, and we're just walking around and looking at the, the different rooms. Um, and one of the interesting things is that, well, the beautiful things is the floor. So, Dikov? How was dinner last night? Really good. Were the guys taking care of you well? Yes, very, awesome, very good. Awesome. No, thank you, man. That yeah, was so welcome. good. It's a really old. Thai style. Oh, and it remains so cold, like the the metal remains so cold on your fingers. <laughs> so really, all of the ingredients are Thai. Just um, all ingredients from South, uh -huh. almost hundred percent. And they're all from they're all from South, apparently. From South, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back into the kitchen and especially see them as they're making a, a very very old Thai style of rice that you can you, it's hard to find now. They have all of the charcoal grills going, uh, but immediately st you step out here, you can smell coconut, you can smell the rice. Mm, you can smell the shrimp paste. And so they cook in these clay pots, and oh, it's so fragrant. Uh, but it's really, really hard to find this type of rice because, I mean, this type cooked this way, because you have to continually monitor it. it take, it's so time consuming. You have to just sit here and monitor it, taking out some of the water. And if you, I know Ying said she tried to make it one time, and it turned into a like rice soup. So you have to just monitor the water, but it, it takes a lot of skill. Uh, but they're doing it all the traditional way, which is gonna be the full flavor. Let me just quickly introduce you to Peepup. <laughs> He's one of the ultimate food lovers and just an amazing guy. I will, you gotta check out his Instagram and his profile because he, uh, he eats some incredible food, but we're gonna be eating together um, and we're just starting the meal now. We're gonna start with small, small bites um, and then proceed on to more and more dishes. But uh, P. Ice was telling me there's gonna be 22 different dishes that we're gonna try. First bite, it's a just a tiny little, uh, like a slice of a cucumber, but it's stuffed with uh, shrimp paste. And then to balance that out is a cashew, roasted cashew on top. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, you get to, it is almost like peanut buttery, but with that extraordinary depth of flavor from the shrimp paste. Okay, next course is here. Sand mole crabs. These are just like little tiny, like thumb-sized crabs. A little dip into that seaweed powder. I've never had sand mole crabs before. Yeah. It almost kind of has that fried soft shell crab type of feel to it. But just fully crunches all the way through. How is it eating? It's pretty good. <laughs> Have you ever had that before? <laughs> it's first time. How is it, Peep Up? It's like popcorn. <laughs> Seven color lobster. Seven color lobster? From Phuket. And it's raw. And then, what's on the top seasoning? Um, it's like um, seafood sauce, basically. Okay. Um, and that, just that color, that shimmer. Wow. <laughs> The texture, yeah. It's really sweet. I mean, naturally. And then like a little bit gummy, but muscular at the same time. And soft. 
texture is unbelievable. So the next course you gotta eat fast because it's sitting on a, a rice cracker that's been uh, grilled. And that is a curry, uh, which is made from some of the, some of the like parts of the crab, I think. Oh, that's lobster? Oh, it's lobster, okay. Uh, Oh, that's a beautiful one, but so like citrusy. Ganqing oh. bu, um, ganqing bu, which is the the best part of the crab, I would say. Um, coated in um, yellow curry. On top is actually the the crab roll, ah. which they cook separately because um, the the roll and the meat itself cook at different temperatures. So they only want the best texture. It's like a bit gooey, you know, oh. runny like egg yolk texture. It's exploding and you can see it's coated in curry sauce. But then the roe, which is the really bright orange roe, that comes from the body section of the crab. Uh, but then they've sort of recoated it onto the, the, the nugget. The best part of everything. Yes, crab. the best one part of crab in one bite. Cheers. Cheers, hap, cheers, hap. Cheers, cup. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's just, I mean, that's just solid crab meat. Mm. Then with the richness of the roe and that curry to make it even more rich and flavorful. That was mind-blowingly delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the next dish is called ne gale. It's a form of southern Thai grilled meat. Usually it's with chicken you'll find in the south, but this is with beef. And you can just smell the aroma of the garlic. It's also usually sweet, coated in a coconut milk kind of barbecue sauce. So rich and kind of like fruity from the, the dates. Yeah, the flavor really does keep on coming as you keep on chewing that beef. The next dish that we're eating is called khao yam, which is a rice mixture, southern Thai. Uh, but this is the most beautiful version I've ever seen. Oh, that's so good. Mm. It's salty, but then a little bit sweet. And you, again, you taste the complexity of flavor, especially from that, that dressing, um, the fermented fish entrail sauce that he sprinkled on there. But then it's just wrapped up with all of those herbs. It really is like solid herbs. The sour southern Thai curry, my favorite dish, but with mango steam, something I've never had before. Unripe mango steam. Unripe mango steam. I kept thinking we were about to start filming and tasting, but then they kept bringing out more and more dishes. The table is now just completely filled with food. Oh, and she's about to serve me some of the fresh rice. Right out of that clay pot. And you can just, if you can just smell that, that aroma, it, it has a totally different aroma to it. It's very, very fragrant. You can smell a little bit of the smoke and the charcoal. It's purely, purely fluffy. Thank you, huh? Oh, it's so much herbs in there too, yeah? It's the nam prik, which is the chili, chili dip. And this one is the one that we saw. It's the run roasted in the, the coconut um, shell. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this with the rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, the coconutiness of that. A little bit spicy, you taste black pepper in there. Oh wow, that is superb. I love coming cow. It's just, it's so earthy tasting. The soup that he just dished out so it's hot and fresh and this is like an egg sausage. I'll try that, oh. Oh, it actually floats in your spoon, look at that. You gotta make sure it doesn't float out of your spoon before you eat it. Yeah, the egg just melts in your mouth. Almost like a pudding. 
So it's Geng Som, or sometimes also called Geng Leung, which is the sour or yellow Southern Thai curry. Uh, this is one of the, it's one of my favorite dishes in all of Thailand. Uh, it's orange from turmeric, but there's a lot of chilies in there, a lot of garlic. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's such a depth of flavor. You get all that like mustardy turmeric flavor, but you can eat the entire mango steam without the seeds. And as you keep on tasting it, you start to feel a little bit of the chili heat. Muyang <laughs> Kwakling. Yeah, you're in a crunchiness. <laughs> oh, it's really good. The whole table can hear you crunching that. That's what you want. Oh, but the contrast. So crispy and then so gooey, creamy, tender, melt in your mouth all at the same time. Oh, wow. Mm. That's just condensed quickly. It's like, I mean, a powerful flavor, but still very well balanced. Look at those stinky beans. Uh, stink beans, which are called sata which is one of my ultimate favorite single ingredients in the entire world. Uh, paired with uh, the squid, small squid. Are they baby squid? Yeah. Baby with squid. Inside. If you look at the, the stinky bean mm -hmm. carefully, they cut each stinky bean. Oh yeah. So the flavor can penetrate through the stinky mm. bean more. Okay, the next one is the geng tai pla, which is the fish viscera innards curry. Another one of my favorite Southern Thai dishes. They've taken it to an, like a very gourmet level. I mean, still remaining the same, but adding in lots of ingredients, preparing it with such precision as they have done with all the dishes. There's also the met kanun, which are the seeds of jackfruit, which have been roasted over charcoal and then prepared into this curry. The jackfruit seed is almost like potatoey, starchy. Then you've got the roasted fish, which is very aromatic. And again, the citrusiness or the zestiness of those kaffir limes at Glam Lays come in so nice. Just superb flavor. What an incredible meal. Next level. Nam nam cup. If you like it more, like a lot of the curry sauce or a little bit of the curry sauce. Oh, that's beautiful. I like a lot of curry sauce. Okay, this is another beautiful dish and three components to it. The rice, the shrimp curry, and the papaya, the shredded green papaya. So you kind of get a little bit of everything onto this bite. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you've got more of an undertone of dry spice in there. And then you take the, taste that rich coconut. It has like a... Malay taste to it. Oh, yes, yes, like nasi lemak. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just unbelievable flavor. Next up is a palate cleanser. So after we finished the spicy curries, um, and it is uh, uh, made from daftala, which is the torch ginger flour. Mm. Mm. That's so complimenting to the sourness. Just like a hint of a like, it's almost like a floral gingery taste to it. Okay, next dessert is the coconut sugar ice cream with roasted coconut, but a part of the coconut. Special, Special I'm still not totally sure exactly. It's only like one out of X-Men. Like X-Men coconut? Is <laughs> 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 what they're telling me. <laughs> Oh wow, pinch on a little bit of salt onto the ice cream. All right, and then take another bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the salt brings out the flavor and just like magnifies it. The next dessert, I think the final dessert, uh, there's some fruits with some ice. Mash up the ice. So it's kind of like Nam King Sai, but with many. Hold on, my fruit salad. Mash up the ice. So you got the crunchy ice. You've got. Oh, this one is a. 
Those are the little ice cubes. I want to get yeah. some of the some of that um, pomelo. Oh, there's fried shallots in there too. Mm. Mm. You've got that crunchy ice, which is very cool, and then all the different fruits. But it's more complex than that because you've got the ginger, you've got the the zest of the salsa, the citrus, and the crispy shallots, which, which kind of give it a, a totally different twist. And so you just kind of mash up this ice. Um, I'll try the, the longa next. That's just an amazing, refreshing combination. Mm. Mm. Oh, that ice keeps hitting my tooth, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> About five hours later, we ended up hanging out and just enjoying the atmosphere and the food at Saan. Uh, the food was extraordinary. That was an incredible meal. Um, and I love their philosophy of uh, preserving Southern Thai food, but refining it at the same time. And the all the dishes were, oh, one, one thing I have to mention that I didn't mention before is that they don't take any shortcuts. So even all of the curry pastes are pounded by hand, um, no blending, no shortcuts like that. And that's what really brings out the depth of flavor. And so you taste all of the ingredients, all the, the multitude ingredi of ingredients that they use in their cooking. I love how almost 100% of the ingredients are not just local from Thailand, but local from Southern Thailand. And P. Ice and P. Yacht are just committed to preserving the authenticity, but then refining Southern Thai cuisine. I want to say a huge thank you to P. Ice and P. Yacht and P. Pop Kapun Makap. That was a just an extraordinary meal. And I'll have all the information of the restaurant below in the description box, but if you have a chance when you're in Bangkok, check out Son. Uh, they're doing just fantastic things for Southern Thai food. And it is, it's for sure gonna meal, be a meal that you will never forget.